At 11 p.m. I know. Me too. Don't worry. It's gonna be okay. Yeah. You know, he's like the best of the best. He is. And it's, I mean, it seems like this is something that she really was going to eventually need, so then hopefully it'll just help her, like, develop to even more now, like, to get it going and get it done. It's a good way to look at it. I'm sorry I'm not I there. I want to meet your new baby girl. Yeah, it's still rough. I will definitely be praying for you and Thank you. for it, the surgeon and the anesthesiologist and for pain and everything. I appreciate that. I right, love. I'm going to let you go. Good luck finding your car seat. <laughs> Alright, love ya. Love you more. Alright, bye, bye. Bye. That was my best friend, Crystal. I was supposed to fly home today. And by home, I mean San Antonio. Because she's due this week. And sadly, I had to tell her that I couldn't fly home. She understands. It's just hard. Because she was here when Penny was born. And she was here when Gray was born. So I wanted to be there with her first baby. Lillian is her name. Lily. Lillian. Good morning. Checking in for Penelope Nosso. Well, you're in a hospital, you're probably going to want to wear With Uncle Sunny. and we haven't had anything to drink or eat since 11 p.m. last night. Hey. Do you have any thoughts? Hey. Maybe that's where she'll have her he head shaved, right by that little mark. Hey. See you, Penny. Bye, Penny. Okay, See you soon. I mean, Penelope. Okay. <laughs> Have a fun ride. All right, we'll take good care of her. I'll see you soon. Penelope's Medronic Programmable Shunt Surgery took almost three hours. This wasn't our first surgery, and sadly, this won't her last. When Penny comes out of surgery, she'll no longer be able to be around magnets, cell phones, iPads, or anything else that can change the frequency of the magnet, draining fluid from her brain called a shunt. I've been asked if I could do it all again, would I through IVF or adoption so that the child wouldn't go through all of these medical problems. My answer is, if I did it differently, I wouldn't have Penelope. Penny is a gift. She's a gift from God. Grayson's a Hi, gift. Penelope. Not one day do I wish I did anything differently. Educating ourselves is now our objective. Penny's recovery is now our objective.
day two. We're a little bit swollen, but they said that's to be expected. Sunday and right now um, Penny just went in for another CT scan and what we're hoping is that the results from this CT scan are going to come out great so that hopefully there's a chance we could be going home tomorrow. Sorry, it's 6.30 a.m., so I'm still trying to wake up, and that's the latest scoop. I just hope she's okay, even if we don't go home right now. I just want her to be okay. It is 12.15 and Penny's sleeping, 12.15 a.m. Um, here's the latest scoop. She has a MRI at 5 a.m. and it's a draining. Basically, if the shunt is not absorbing enough fluid that goes back into the body, then we'll be looking at an additional tubing, which means an additional. one depressing vlog after another. I know it's gonna get better. I know that things are gonna be okay for her. It's just really hard as a mom to like see the end of the tunnel and to know to like
Good job! Yay!